Hello, my name is Ashlyn and I love makeup, eyeshadow especially. So today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. And then, so I was like scrolling on Instagram to try to get inspiration somehow. <laughs> and I came across this video and it was like an underwater um, sea life video. And I saw this and was like, that would create such a beautiful look. And it's so colorful and summery and I love it. It looked so beautiful. So that's what we're doing today. And you can find me on Instagram and TikTok as well. And like always, do like and subscribe if you like my videos. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, so I have like three palettes that I'm, go I'm going to be using. Um, just because I had like specific colors that I found in these palettes that were like spot on. So I'm going to be using the Barbie Glam Light palette. This is actually a really nice palette. I like this a lot. At first I was like, I don't know if I would really use the colors out of this, but I've been using it quite a lot recently. So good purchase on my point. <laughs> Did I say my point? I meant my part. <laughs> Heart. So I already have my eyes prepped with my eyeshadow primer. I use, I've been using the Too Faced one now. I used to use Sigma um, and then I ran out of it and I didn't want to wait for shipping. <laughs> so I just went out to the store and got the Too Faced one because that's what I used before. And then I stopped using it and switched to Sigma and now I'm back to Too Faced. So I am going to start with this shade right here. It's the pink, bubblegum pink shade in here. It is called Play Day. So I am going to apply it up, um, like above my crease. Cause I want to do a different style of makeup that I think would work really well with the image. So I'm creating like an outline with the pink and I'm gonna add purple on top of it and then I'm gonna add a different color inside of here. And I'm going to like fix the edges with the eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I got the shape down. Um, I'll like refine it later and like really shape it and make it sharper. But I'm just like throwing down the colors first and then I'll refine it later. So now I'm going to, it's kind of a flatter brush. I might use this one actually, like a stippling brush. And I am going to go in with this darker pink shade down here and it is called Unstoppable. And we're just gonna, Darken up this pink. Because what I'm trying to go for is like that, it's, um, it's kind of like a ombre-ish type of situation with like the pink and the purple that was in the picture. If you can like see the, um, the pink and the purple they're kind of like blended in and then the yellow is like right next to it. So it looks like it's jumping off. That's what I'm trying to go for. I absolutely love the beach though. I love the ocean and the water and everything about it. Seashells, love seashells. I miss it so much. I haven't been to the beach in such a long time. Like an ocean beach. I've been to like lake beaches and stuff, but that's not the same. <laughs> 
but I do miss like ocean beaches. It's been like years since the last time I went to one. I think it's been like, cause the last one I was at was in Florida. And I think that was like five years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go in with like a more precision kind of brush, like flatter and have more control to make a, a line with. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one. And I am gonna go in with this other purple shade that's in here, it's really nice. It is called Bestie. It's like a really nice, uh, like royal purple, but on the lighter side, not very dark. I'm gonna go right up against that darker pink color. I'm kind of like blending it slightly into that pink to give it that like ombreish effect but not too much because I still want the pink to be visible just like that and I might um like get a even pointer brush and like wet it and then dip into the purple again and make a really sharp line. I might do that too, but I'm gonna do this side first. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to grab, I might use this one, like the brushes that I use for my uh, water activated liners. I might use this one, dip it in some water, and then pick up some shadow on it. Yeah, that's working. Sorry, I'm like covering my eye because I'm trying to be very precise with it. Like, I have to stabilize my elbow on my table. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That looks really cool, actually. That was a good idea. <laughs> more like neon-y it looks that's what I that's what I wanted like faded out but yet like popping because there's a distinct difference between the two eyes really cool actually I really really like the way this is turning out it's like very shocking I love it <laughs> I might do the same thing under here with the pink yeah I think I'm gonna do the pink too under here I I was gonna do a different style but I think I'm I'm liking this so I think I'm gonna do it down here as well Okay, I had to put some eyeshadow primer on my bottom lid because I didn't in case fallout. So I had to put some on. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do the same thing I did up here on the bottom. So I'm gonna start with that very pink color, bubblegum pink again. This one right here. But yeah, like I said before, like I I did not think I would like these pinks, but this pink is so pretty. It's a really nice pink, actually. So again, I'm going to darken up 
this pink with this other like hot pink down here called Unstoppable with the same stippling brush that I used earlier. then with the more precision flatter brush going in with that purple called bestie and doing that same line effect just on the bottom And then again with the really pointed brush dipping in water and then the shadow. And I have a yellow eyeliner that I'm going to put in my waterline just to make that purple pop more. I think it'll look really cool. Okay, so I am gonna clean up inside of here, like on my eyelid, so that I can do the yellow and orange next. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I have to be really careful with the yellow and orange that I'm doing now because I don't wanna screw up the pink that I did. So I am going to use a flat brush to like pack on the yellow color first. And I am using the yellow out of my ColourPop Uh -huh Honey palette. And uh, let's see. Actually, I might mix the two. So there's two in here. There's this really light one and this a little bit darker, like mustard yellow kind of. And I think because of the picture, there's it's like a very um, bright but kind of orangey yellow. So I'm gonna do the lighter one first and really like pack on that color and I'm trying not to get too much fallout onto that pink that I just did. It's such a nice yellow though. It's like the perfect, like, sunshine kind of yellow. Super pigmented. And again, like, trying my hardest not to get fallout onto that pink. So I think, like, kind of how I did the purple, I think I'm going to go up alongside the purple and like this outer part and use that darker yellow to kind of like make the center yellow look brighter. I don't think it's gonna be dark enough. It might not be dark enough. Subtly, very subtle. So I might use um, an orange as well. So there's an orange out of the BH Cosmetics Lunar New Year palette that I think I'm going to use just to like make that more shocking, like the purple, like the purple. So I'm gonna use this really tiny brush and go in with this orange right here. It is called Tangerine. Oh yeah, that's working a lot better. Cause I loved how like the, I think it's called a weedy uh, dragon something. Seahorse maybe. It has like such a cool ombre effect with the yellow and the orange and pink and purple that's on it. It's such a beautiful animal. So I wanted to like kind of recreate that as much as possible. 
with my skill set. <laughs> yeah, I like that. What I was going for, so it's always an accomplishment. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to finish up uh, my foundation and everything because I want to go back in and there was like these little dots on the seahorse and I want to like recreate that but I have to have my base on. <laughs> so I'm going to come back after that and use a water activated liner and make those little dots. All right, so I did my base and everything, bronzer, blush, highlight, uh, threw on some mascara, and I, I really like that addition of yellow eyeliner. It really makes that purple pop. I like it. So, um, in the picture, there is a little yellow dots, um, like over top of the purple. So I have this Glamier UV Luxe Liner. It's water, water activated. And I am going to create little dots with this. So I'm gonna wet it. And instead of using the brush side, I think I'm gonna use like the tail side of the brush to create like nice circles. <laughs> Plus it's quicker that way. So I'm just getting this wet enough so that I can like stamp the end of the brush in it. And we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> And I'm just creating like, just like a little cluster of them. And kind of going with the shape of the um, shadow as much as possible. I like that. It looks really nice. And it goes with like the style of the fish, doesn't it? I like it, it's cute. Really cute, I like it. I might add a couple like in here as well, just to make it flow a little bit better. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop there, um, just because I'll keep adding and <laughs> it'll escalate. So I think I might add like some gemstones and I'm gonna throw on some lashes and fix my hair a bit and then I'll show you the final results. I'm excited, this looks so cute. I look like a fish. It's really cute, isn't it? I love it. This was a good idea on my part. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. And I'm back with the final look. I had to be extra and add some like gemstones and stuff. Plus I wanted to add like added texture cause it's very like bubbly on the fish. So I wanted to give it like actual texture with the circles. And I think it's really cute. I really like this look. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I feel like a fish. I really do. <laughs> so if you like my videos, do like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.